Hi everyone, it's Fanola Howard and this is Make It Bite Sized and also this is Ask Fanola How and we are at episode 41, would you believe it? So, and it's funny because I say that at every episode, I think it's just, uh, it makes me smile to know that we are consistently coming to you every week answering your questions. So here we are again today and this is a mix of questions uh, from other entrepreneurs as a direct result of Yes, we got hacked, or rather, I my personal Instagram account got hacked last week. So we kind of thought we should talk about it today. So it's kind of interesting and um, and frustrating and disconcerting. And really, you know, you put all this time and effort into creating your feed, into building your following, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But let's kind of talk about it for a minute. So when I knew I was going to do this episode, we did a couple of things. One, we posted to let you know that we were going to do this episode on hacking and how to keep safe. And the other thing was I did a little bit of research. But let's kind of frame this discussion today, okay? And this is how we framed it, which was a mix of our own concerns um, as uh, part of the How Great Marketing Works uh, entity my own concerns as an entrepreneur and my own personal account where I like to share my own stuff and everything that we think about when we think about security of our social media accounts where we actually build following and deepen our relationships with our customers and our audience and all that good stuff. So here's how we framed the question today which is a mix of my questions for myself and also questions from other entrepreneurs okay who've had a similar experience and here's how, we, how it's been framed. How to keep your business safe online and i see many businesses getting their social media accounts hacked and i'm wondering whether or not it makes sense to invest all the time into building an online following on social media when it can be lost at any moment we are hearing this all of the time as questions from entrepreneurs okay so the first thing i kind of did was apart from sort out my own account and all the rest of it was i kind of wanted to see what kind of trends were happening because the more that I spoke to people, the more I realized, wow, this is happening all the time at the moment. There seems to be a real glut of accounts getting hacked in Instagram at the moment. So this is one of the things I just want to bear in mind this. So according to the National Cyber Security Center in the UK, 39% of UK businesses have experienced a cyber security attack in the last 12 months. It's on the increase. It's particularly strong at the moment. Also, um, and it's not just money you lose. And here's the worrying quote. 41% of UK consumers say they will never return to a business post breach. OK, now we're only talking about our social media accounts here, but I kind of need to think about it from a wider perspective as well. So um, and lastly, you're also in threat of uh, breaching GDPR. OK, so let's kind of frame that and keep that in mind. But this is what I came to from having my account hacked, hacked last week, okay? So that question that we were asked by entrepreneurs, which is, should I, it makes me wonder whether or not it makes sense to invest all the time into building an online following on social media when it could be lost at any moment. And my instant response to that is, don't let the hackers scare you. I mean, hackers have been here for years and years and years. We've become very comfortable with protecting our bank accounts. We are constantly advised by our banks to that they will not contact us to get access to our passwords or anything else. We have become very used to dealing with potential for hacking, potential for phishing scams and all of that. It's just really migrated onto social at the moment and people are just getting a little bit scared. Okay, so things you practically do, and you guys all know this already, but let's just reiterate it. One, Protect all your passwords with something like lastpass.com. Great way where you actually centralize all your passwords. And if other people are accessing your account, you never have to type in that account. It's just uh, helps you organize your passwords more uh, cohesively. And when you have people maybe using your social media or social media managers, you share with them a LastPass account. You don't share with them the passwords. So it makes life a lot more secure. The second thing is obviously update all your malware and antivirus software, do that immediately. And then lastly, back up your data weekly. And this is for your whole business anyway. 
So let's just get that kind of out of the way at the start, okay? The next thing that I want to share with you is you really need to be on alert for phishing scams. And let me share with you what happened to me last week. And what happened was, first of all, I was in a hurry, okay? So don't do things and share information when you're in a hurry. Wait, it's not worth it. Clearly, it's not worth it. I lost all of that work. So what happened to me was, and I, and I have an alertness, and a lot of people have an alertness. What has happened is that hackers have become much more um, much more sophisticated in how they uh, attack people. So what they're doing is, and this is what happened to me, I got a message from somebody I trusted, and I thought it was somebody I trusted. And it was something that um, they were looking for help, okay? They were asking, saying that they had been nominated for an ambassadorship. And yes, I know, I know you're saying to me, God, Fanola, you really should have known what that was. But when you're in a hurry, you're not always thinking. And perhaps you're in a mindset that you want to help somebody out. So you're not thinking too deeply because you recognize the name. So you think it's safe. Where I, and so let me tell you the rest of it. So what happened was they said, I've been nominated for an ambassadorship. Um, I'd love your vote. And what I did immediately was show me where to vote. And that immediately flagged for the hacker that I was open to uh, dialogue on this. And what they did was they said, I've just sent you a link now, take a picture of the link and I'll know you voted. What they'd actually done was gone into uh, Instagram and said, uh, like you forgot your, you know, forgot your password. So immediately I got a link from Instagram into my phone saying, here's a link to reset your password. And then I, and then I took a picture of it and shared it because I was in a hurry, realizing if I had been in my right senses and not in a hurry, I would never have done that. But some little tick boxes were being ticked in my head that this was a person I knew and tr trusted. This is someone who my stuff would be safe with. So therefore I acted. And what did I do? I just basically sent them a picture of the address where they could go in, change my passwords, change the email address associated with the account, change the phone number associated with the account. I handed it to them on the platter. So here is lesson learned, okay? So the lesson learned is do not be in a hurry when things like this are happening. Never act when you're in a hurry. You are not saving time. You are wasting time, costing yourself so much more than time. Second, Never send an image. If you're being asked for an image of a link, then just don't send it. It's absolutely, you are being hacked. You are, they're trying to hack you. It doesn't mean that they will succeed. The other thing that I wasn't paying attention to is, the minute the account get, gets hacked is, they keep the name of the person whose account it is, because that's the familiarization piece. And what they do is, they rename it to being like, um, underline underneath it, uh, so lines ahead of it, and there's a number after it. So when someone is just glancing, they're only seeing the person's name, they're not seeing all the other digits and dashes that are before and after it, which absolutely indicate that account has been hacked. The best thing that you can do is if you are connected to that person in another way, is to make them aware that they've been hacked, which lots of people did for me, thank you very much, and immediately report it, report it, and the next thing to do is tell people, don't hide the fact that you've been hacked. It happens to the best of us. Tell people, get them to unfollow the account so that they don't have access, so they're not doing the same scam on your colleagues and friends and followers. So ask your, tell your audience this has happened. Set up a new account if that's the way that you want to go um, and tell them to report it. Unfollow, report, create yourself a new account and start again. So what I decided to do, your options are, you can spend a huge amount of time trying to get that account back, but it's very, very difficult to get it back. There are lots of videos out there that can guide you into what you can do to make get that account back. I watched some of them. I was recommended some of them. I looked at them and I just went, this could take me three months to do. This could take me two days to do. However long it would take, I made the call that it wasn't worth it for me. I mean, you have to make that call for yourself, but for me, it wasn't worth it. 
it would have been easier or better, not necessarily easier, but better to grow my following again and start again. So then, so my account is now, my new account is at this is Finola Howard. So if you are not following me anymore and you are in, and you haven't unfollowed that previous account, please unfollow that previous account and follow me with this new address. But I took the time, I decided to not watch those videos, to not try and get that account back. I kind of want you to be wary of people who offer to get that account back for you because that's another doorway into hacking your other accounts. So be careful, go to somebody you trust if you're going to try and get it back. I chose to believe that it's not, wasn't worth it for me. That's my decision. You have to make your own. Okay, let me just see if there's anything else. Yeah, the other thing I kind of want to share with you is, so, and this is some of the questions that I got back, which was, oh my God, I'm overexposed. If I lost my Instagram, Instagram account in the morning, I'd be in really great difficulty. But my, my response to that is social media should not be your entire marketing strategy. It is, in fact, your strategy to build awareness, to grow your audience, to grow your reach. It is top of the funnel, brand awareness kind of stuff. It is only the door opener to our building a relationship with your customers. It is only at one stage of your marketing funnel. Do not be over-reliant on that source. The other reason not to be over-reliant over on your social media has nothing to do with being hacked. It's to do with you don't own your social media following. What you have much more control over is your own website and your own email list, that you can nurture your own email list. You don't have to worry about changes of algorithms. So many people have lost traction in their marketing because you know, all of these, this social media, these social media channels are updated all of the time. The rules change all the time. You have to relearn how to do that very, very consistently. So in your strategy, focus on building brand awareness with your social and then draw them into your website, draw them into your email list with lead magnets, always useful, always relevant. Nurture that relationship with each of those people but don't rely so heavily on social that you lose your business because somebody hacked your account or you lose your business because someone changed the algorithm in one of the channels. Be really careful about that stuff. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, comments or insights about this area, because it'd be interesting to hear from you what you experienced if it happened to you and maybe it's happening to you now. Be really careful out there. The biggest mistake I made was I was in a hurry. Don't make that mistake. And protect yourself with passwords, with being aware that phishing is going on in social media very strongly at the moment, and back up your data all the time. Protect yourself, act immediately. Also remember that the minute if you get hacked, you need to go directly into your other, into your Facebook account and disconnect that, that Instagram account from your Facebook account so that you are fully, fully protected, okay? Take care out there, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next week.